Yes, like we told you, we begin with that news alert. Government of India has just issued new orders asking states and various union territories. They have been directed to facilitate interstate movement of stranded people. Thousands of stranded people, especially migrant laborers, have been stuck away from their homes. They have been wanting to go back but have been stuck due to lockdown measures. Some have even been walking to their home cities and states. Now the government of India has asked various states and union territories to formulate a plan to facilitate the movement of these migrant laborers to their home states. They will be screened. Health screening will be held at the point of origin and their destination where they will be quarantined as well. Joining us on the broadcast is Vion's uh, correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl. Uh, Siddhant, uh, over to you. What's the latest uh, information you're picking up from your sources? Government has just passed an order. What steps have the, the government asked uh, the various states to take? Well, it's a very important development. Uh, just uh, weeks ago, we saw those visuals, those heartbreaking visuals uh, of migrants, laborers walking uh, all uh, through the, the city of Delhi, where I am standing and other parts of the country as well. I'm standing, in fact, uh, at the National Highway 24, which saw uh, la uh, lacks in, in terms of a lot of people walking, a lot of uh, migrant laborers walking till the Anand Vihar bus station, which is just 15 minutes away from where I am standing. Now, in a major relief, the Indian government has issued orders saying that migrant laborers, pilgrims, students who have been stranded across the country can be allowed to move, can be allowed to go uh, around to the locations they would like to go. And for that, uh, the state governments have to uh, develop a, a, a standard operating procedure uh, and, of course, uh, appoint a nodal officer who will take care of the entire mammoth uh, exercise. Also, uh, the, the travel will take place uh, by using buses, this has been written in the order. This is an important development because we know the last time that uh, there were problems relating to uh, the mode of public transport and uh, it has been clearly mentioned that these buses need to be sanitized and pro appropriate social distancing should be maintained. Other than that, uh, uh, the, the people uh, from uh, the area where they will leave till the point they will reach, they will be screened, they will be quarantined and all the necessary health ministry uh, protocols uh, will be followed. Interestingly, what uh, important uh, point has been mentioned in the order is that any asymptomatic person hmm. can also go around. That is another important outcome of uh, uh, that order that has been issued just now by the Indian Home Ministry, which is a major relief for many people, lakhs and lakhs of people who have been stranded across the city, uh, city and of course uh, the country. Absolutely. Uh, Siddhant, uh, we on principal diplomatic correspondent getting us this latest updates on this uh, order being passed by the government. Uh, Siddhant, the big question is when does this order come into effect? Well, the order comes into effect immediately given the fact that it has been issued by the Indian uh, Home Ministry and uh, it, it, of course, is a surprise order. Uh, interestingly, today, no briefing of uh, the Government of India took place because usually uh, Wednesdays have been uh, put for the Cabinet briefings. There was no Indian Cabinet meeting to, uh, that took place today. Uh, but we are hoping for a release by the Indian Health Authorities on what were the main developments of the day. The briefing, of course, takes place on Monday, Tuesday and, of course, Thursday and Friday, four days. And other than that, there will be releases but by and large uh, this is a relief this is a major development by the Indian government and also hints at a phased or increased opening up of the areas the green areas uh, where there is no infection in fact uh, what has been mentioned in the order is that if a person would like to uh, uh, traverse through a state to go to another state those states can't stop him he can easily go that is another relief for the migrant uh, laborer so example if a, a migrant worker wants to go from Punjab to Bihar so uh, the states coming in between whether it's Uttar Pradesh or other states, they will not stop him. They can allow him to go. And other than that, uh, if we look at uh, the situation on the ground, uh, the government is clearly hinting at uh, easing of uh, the restrictions in green zone. We know 3rd of the May is an important date because the lockdown 2.0 comes to an end on that day. So the, we can expect some kind of decision perhaps on Saturday or Sunday. But right. by and large, uh, the, the message of uh, the Indian authorities, Indian government is that there will be a phase uh, uh, removal of restrictions in green areas and this was of course decided as well in uh, the, the meeting of the Indian Prime Minister with the state chief ministers that took place on Monday, the fourth meeting that took place between the Indian Prime Minister and right. the state chief ministers. Siddhan Sibal, thank you so much for joining us uh, with the latest updates. Government of India passing a latest order asking all the states to facilitate the movement of uh, stuck migrant labourers to, to return to their various states.